I'm Joan Frost and I work at Eon Engineering and I'm a graduate environmental specialist, majorly working on compliance support for the power stations with the environmental legislation at a UK level. My biggest project today, which I'm very proud of and a big achievement for me, is um, working on the environmental impact assessment for a brand new 150 megawatt biomass plant that we're building and we're putting together a super huge document that t tells everybody what the likely environmental impacts are and we put that in with our planning application and hopefully fingers crossed sort of in a year or two years down the line we'll be building this new magnificent power station. When I was at school I did science A-levels and originally my interest was in genetic engineering. I did actually originally apply to about five or six universities to do genetic engineering and um, one of them was Leeds University and um, that was a new course there and it was fully subscribed but they had a place on a course called Chemical Process Technology which my career teacher said well that's got plant engineering in it and so that's kind of like genetics and then I found out subsequently that it meant power plants and not plants that didn't take that grow out of the ground and um, so it was a bit of a struggle when I sort of first got to university and realised that my degree was totally different to the one that I'd expected to be doing. I um, then went on to do a second degree because I really enjoyed the environmental aspect of the previous degree and had a super personal tutor and he encouraged me to take an industrial placement because he says hands-on experience is the best that you can get and they had one placement over, um, it was at Power Technology at the time it was called and it was just when they were going through the rebranding from PowerGen to E.ON and I um, knew there was a placement available and that was in environmental management at their centre of excellence here. So um, I applied and luckily was successful. I don't know how because <laughs> I really bombed out in the interview. The culture at E.ON was something that really drew me back here because originally I hadn't planned on moving too far away from Manchester, which is where I'm originally from because I have a lot of friends and family up there. But the people here were so welcoming and, and really fun guys to get along with in the office. We have a lot of banter and stuff. So when I was um, when I was on my placement and they asked me if I wanted to take a graduate assessment centre, I um, sort of bit the hand off. When I went back for my final year at university, I was secure in the knowledge that I had a job here. You know, when you come into work on the first day, and you think, you, you're worried about your work performance, but when it gets to lunchtime, you think, oh, I've got nobody to sit with at lunchtime. And uh, it's nice when somebody comes and taps you on the shoulder and says, well, come on, I'll introduce you to the rest of the team and we'll go and get something about to eat together. And so, you know, there's always somebody that'll help you out. Uh, the turning point in my life today. Um, recently I um, lost my grandmother uh, who I love very much and I'm very close with my family so again it's sort of a big upheaval in your life but you know Eon were here and they were supporting me in the background and gave me all the leave that I needed to sort of come to terms with that. Um, but I'm only quite young, I'm 28, <laughs> not, that long, not that much has happened to me yeah, that I could say it was major but I'm certainly enjoying what's uh, been thrown at me so far. My family are definitely my biggest inspiration. They've always said, you know, just do your best and that's all you can do. But then give me a clip around the ear if I wasn't doing it. Doing it. So um, I think my grandma's um, probably been a very big influence because um, she had a family of seven children and she brought them up as a single mother after she lost her husband and she's lived through a world war and she's worked hard, hard graft all her life so she you know she's the kind of woman where you think well if she's never grumbled all her life I can't really <laughs> grumble the fact that you know I feel a bit skint now and then or works a bit hard for me because I know that it was 100% a lot easier for me than it has been for her. I'm looking to work towards chartership over the sort of next five years I'm certainly very happy working at Eon Engineering, so I have no plans to leave and go anywhere else because I've been treated so well in the first instance um, and I sort of feel like there's something new being thrown at me every day, so why, why change?